Welcome back to another episode of The Raccoon Who Wants a Particular Book. Yes. Right then. Suppose uh, there's gonna be maybe two levels left, so we may be getting to the finale of, uh, well, at least this, this stage. I don't know. It all depends. Raccoon. Oh, oh there you are. My heart warms at the very sight of you. Shut up, Ringtail. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. And this is what we call a dumbass. I see you clearly have a hard on for a sly Cooper. But, you know, it's like such dumb plot at that point. It's like clearly she's trying to do her job, but she's so misguided. You know? Like, she doesn't see the bigger picture here. Sly's not the actual problem. Granted, yes, thief, got it, but, you know, of all the people that you've arrested, you can't put the two and two together. Dipshit. Okay, yeah. I had to get up here anyway. Nice. That's why I'm just fucking with her at this point. Do you mind not shooting me? That'd be great. Is that enough I gotta deal with these dudes and you? While also trying to find all the bottles? And trying to make sure I don't miss any? Because apparently I gotta get 40. Please tell me it's not gonna get to a point where there's gonna be like 50 of them. I don't. I don't think I can deal with that. That looks like stress. Hey, remember when I struggled on that one level in a uh, bug shot? Yeah, that was fun. I say as I'm crying inside. Oh, is she uh, screwed off? Say yes. No. Hey, you get the hint. Go away. She's right there. Why don't you smack her? You're not supposed to hit women. Yeah, you don't hit women. You hit bitches. Get it to your head. No! Don't leave me behind! Ooh. Ooh, actually, that's good that I got left behind. Thank you! I'm only missing two now. Please give them to me. Where are they? <gasps> They're over there. Ooh, ooh, gimme, 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 gimme. Yes. All right. Oh yeah, I could totally do this. Oh, no, man, that was gonna be a lot worse. Oh no. I say as I immediately fall. Oh, cause she's doing a thing. Got it. Wow, you are a bitch. Man, you are really annoying. Can I ever tell you that? No fucking what? Nice shot. I hate you for it though. You just happened to shoot the very last one. Oh, 
Unfortunately, this vault code appears to have been written in owl dialect. I won't be able to crack the code until we meet and defeat the bird who created it. What? I gotta come back here? The fuck? Well, that's dumb. Ow, oh, dialect. Gee, I wonder if that's hinting to anything, like the last Watch dude. Back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. So I gotta come back to this level. Ugh, terrific. Okay. So we got the key over there, the one underneath, the one over behind me. Uh, is that it? Yeah, okay, so this must be it. Murray's all fired up to make the oh run for the God, key, while again. on the blasting station, use the left analog stick to aim, and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. Uh, emphasis on try. Let's go, Sly. Oh, no. Alright, let's try and do some one shot, because he's, he's using my charm. Don't talk. Nice. Uh, stop talking. Why are you? Why are you in red? Okay. Panic shooting. Oh my lord. No. Half done, he says. Pain. Look at the amount of shit he has to go through. Come on, you should be right there. What's gonna stop you though? Something's gonna come out, right? I knew something was gonna happen. Murray, you are useless. I hate you. You're annoying. I'm sure someone likes you, but I do not. Die. Stop. We. I. You not. Ah, uh, yes. I have to watch this for like forever. Well, at least that was quick, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, panicking time. Right? Ah, got it. Oh, no boom. Slame foo. I see you carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. 
Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. Okay. How do we kill you, though, is my question. So I just go up to you and just beat the shit out of you. Got it. Fuck. <laughs> Is that supposed to happen? I'm just like, just curious. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I guess just get up to him. What if it's gonna end up being the easiest one? Is my question. There's no way he's really this easy. No way. It's literally just like beat the shit out of him. So let's see, in the past we had watery platforming. Shoot the Booming Chop. Um Booming Chop. Do something with these reflective thingamabobs that I don't remember because Mugshot was a pain in my dick. Simon says, and now we just have beat the shit out of Panda Man. I would make he's tanky though. I like his design. I think he's my favorite so far. Not just because he's a panda. I was actually like afraid of this fight somewhat, mainly because I thought this was gonna be a lot harder. Like I thought there was some like sort of trick to it. But no, they would just go up to him and just mash X. Yeah, that was it. Wow. Panzer are always cute. Yes, they are. Your skill with that cane is unparalleled. <laughs> Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakatoa volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here! Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Right. Well, this is a huge bummer, because now I know there's one safe we can't open. So we're gonna have to come back. Very annoying. Okay, partner, this is it! A trip to Clockwork's lair! Oh, that looks fun. Well, how long have I been doing a thing? Might have to make some cuts. 
So why don't we just get this started? We were on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Protagonist in The Cold Heart of Hate. Oh. Spoopy. Hey, Slide! The road to Clockworks Fortress is blocked! Do me a favor and shoot out that lock for me, would you, Pat? Uh, oh, oh, fun. Check out all those mines! Think you can blow them away and clear a safe path for us? I wish I could use my mouse for this. This would make it so much easier, but no. How convenient. Bingo. My scanners indicate that clockwork is holed up in that owl shaped tower. First things first, we've got hostile Robo Falcons at 12 o'clock, Sly. That's no tower, it's a giant death ray! Fly, take out those rocks or we're in trouble. Yeah, I love to. I think I did. Heads up! The Robo Falcons are back! Oh, no way, man. I'm gonna have to deal with the mines too. It's like one thing at a time, please. Uh might be doing that. No, just kidding. The universe has heard me. Die. Well, tell them not to swarm us. Maybe they'll listen. doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through. Oh. Oh. But we got through. We've got to get through that security door on the far side of the cavern. The only way to unlock it is to analyze at least 60 of those hanging computers. It would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. That yeah, won't be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then, Murray will have to run over them with the van. Okay, then Murray, remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers. Yeah, you know, uh, this is getting a little bit long now, but, uh... Ooh, I'm gonna have to call an episode here, guys. Well, and actually, it's not really that long, but I don't know how long all the section's gonna be. So, on the next episode, we're already starting off with this. Amazing.